Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of interpreting numeric data. This is standard 6.13a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8 off the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a box plot, sometimes called a box and whisker plot, because uh, we've got a box in the middle of this number line, and then we've got these little lines and these little dots, sometimes called whiskers, kind of coming out to the side here. But they record the amount of fluid ounces that each of them drank in a day, and then this box plot shows our summary here. So we've got this little dot down here in between 24 and 36, and another dot up here between 108 and 120. All we need to do is see which statement best describes the, the, the box plot. But this is kind of kind of difficult information to look at, so let's go very slowly. First, let's see if we can get some numbers, and let's understand our box plot. So this 24 and 36, let's, let's assume that this, this dot right here is right in between 24 and 36. So that jumps up uh, by plus 12 which means half of that, we're going to assume this is right in between, is going to be uh, plus 6. So 24 plus 6, we're going to make that 30, because we're going to need specific numbers. Same thing down here. Between 108 and 120, we've got a plus 12, so half of that is going to be a plus 6. So we're going to call this 114. And we've got this box right here on 60, these two are right in between. So we've got 72, and it's another plus 12. So let's make that plus 6, 78. And then you've got another plus 12 between 84 and 96, which means halfway through is plus 6, that's 90. So now we've got numbers. And now we can understand how to interpret this box plot. So this middle right here is our median. So I'm gonna just kind of draw a line over here, median. And so it is the halfway point. Sometimes we also might want to call this quarter two, because if we break this into four quarters, this is going to be quarter two. Right here is going to be your quarter two. Excuse me, that's going to be your quarter one. We already labeled the quarter two. And this right here is going to be your quarter three. So what we see here is half of the data lives inside this box, and the other half lives in these two extremes. And you put those two together, you're going to get your full set of data. So that's how a box plot works. And so you can see if your quarter one and quarter three are pretty tight together, then you have a pretty tight set of data. But if they're really spread out, then it is going to be a pretty wide set of data. So what it looks like here is that our box is pretty tight, but look at how long these lines are, these whiskers that gets the full range. Those are pretty wide, so we've got a pretty broad set of data here. So let's see if we can now, we understand that, understand this. Half the students drank from 78 to 114, right? So 78 is right here, your quarter two. 114 is at the very edge. They say, is that half? Yeah, it looks like it might be half to me because the other half is going to be from 30 to 78. So that looks like we might have our answer right away. Let's see, the greatest number of students drank from 30 to 78. Nope, from 30 to 78 is not the greatest. It's half. Because this line right here, the 78, splits our data in half. So that is not going to work. Close, but not going to work. The data represent 78 student responses. We have no idea how many student responses are in here. 78 is our magic number because that is our median. It's halfway through, but that is definitely not the amount of responses. That's just the midpoint of our data. And then finally, J, the mean number of fluid ounces that the students drank is 78. This is so tricky because the mean is the average. You take all of your numbers, divide them by how many responses you have, you get your mean. And this is the median, not the mean. They're close, but not identical. Answer is F.